From the moment a child is born, he or she starts developing in numerous ways. Just as an infant gains muscle strength through motion, the visual system also develops through use from an early age. Normally, both eyes will develop at the same rate and will quickly learn to work together to give the child normal visual acuity and depth perception. But sometimes one eye will develop faster or one eye may have a physical defect. As the child learns to rely more on the stronger eye, the other eye will grow weaker. As this happens, the brain starts to ignore the vision from the weaker eye, also referred to as the lazy eye, and the result is that the child's overall vision doesn't develop properly. This common condition is called amblyopia and affects 2-3% to of children. In many cases, amblyopia is genetic. There are three main reasons why amblyopia occurs. They are misaligned or crossed eye, called strabismus, where double vision is caused by the brain seeing two different images. Refractive error, where one eye is farsighted, nearsighted, or astigmatic. Cloudiness in one eye, where a condition such as cataract is present and vision fails to develop properly due to the obstruction. With each of these conditions, the child's sight is affected in one eye, so the brain ignores vision from that eye and relies on the better eye to see the world. The problem is that the child's overall vision is compromised. By the time a child is about nine years old, their visual development is complete. If amblyopia is not treated at an early age, that child may grow up to have a lifetime of visual difficulties. So, how is amblyopia diagnosed in an infant, particularly if there are no obvious symptoms such as a misaligned eye? Most doctors test vision as part of a child's medical examination and may refer a child to an ophthalmologist if there is any sign of eye problems. If there is a family history of misaligned eyes, childhood cataracts, or serious eye disease, an ophthalmologist should examine the eyes during infancy. If a child is found to have amblyopia, there are treatment options available. In many cases, treatment involves patching the better eye to force the child to use the weaker eye. In some cases where a physical abnormality such as cataract is present, surgery may be required. After surgery, the ophthalmologist often recommends patching the better eye. It is through use that a weaker eye will develop and the brain will learn to use the vision from this eye. Catching this common condition early can help your child grow to see the world at its best.